Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome, welcome to uh, the theater. I'm your host, Masterpiece. First off, just wanted to apologize. You know, I was working on putting together a nice little tutorial of a brand new video game that I've never played, never looked into. Um, unfortunately, we ran into some trouble. Um, on day one, we had perfect audio with me, but you couldn't hear any of the game audio, which really is just wasn't that great. Unfortunately, that's not a big deal, but it, it just kind of lowers the experience a little bit. Not not perfect. On day two, uh, we did fix the audio issues, but it just wasn't really. It was the the video was kind of grainy and it, it looked like it looked bad. Um, day three, I fixed both of those issues, but at that point, it was a, a little too little too late. You know, I couldn't put together one day of bad stuff, day two of bad stuff, and day three of uh, you know decent stuff. So I wanted to get rid of. I wanted to, to start it over. <clears throat> One of my mottos in life is if you're going to do something, then you do it right. Right. You know, there's no point in wasting your time half assing something. If you're going to be spending time doing it, you might as well make sure you get it done right. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. We're going to do a complete reshoot. I'm going to try and condense those three days of information into one. She sees herself in the camera uh, and she's smiling at herself. Uh, all right, Callie, get down. Go ahead, get down. Thank you. So this is going to be kind of a let's play type of video where you guys come along and play this new game with me. If you like the game, it is on Steam PC. Uh, it's $19.99, so it's relatively inexpensive. There is a battle pass. There is an internal store. Uh, I'm not a big fan of paying for a game and then also having microtransactions. hate microtransactions altogether anyway. Um, but it seems to be... Uh, not pay to win so that's definitely a good thing so a couple things we're going to cover this is going to be a like i said a play along we're also going to be doing a little bit of tutorials here uh so if you're an expert gamer you may want to just skip this video and wait for the highlight video that i'll be putting out probably middle of the week to the weekend this week um so just so you guys know a couple of things that we're, we're going to be covering uh, number one, we're going to be talking about your thought process in gaming and how to really start a game, or at least how I start games. Um, I think the way I start it is very beneficial for a lot of people out there. This video, we're going to be talking about mainly position, uh, making sure not only you yourself are in a physically good position, i.e. Uh, having high ground or line of sight, being behind something to give yourself cover. Um, but also position to be in advantages in fights. So we're going to talk about being even fights, disadvantaged fights, and advantaged fights. So we'll, we'll go over all of that there. Another thing that we're going to be talking about is movement and mobility. Uh, those are very important things in games, especially when you only have one life in Battle Royales. The last thing is going to be awareness, making sure that you're aware of not only your surroundings in the game, but how much time is left? How many players are left? When's the last time you seen a drop from the sky? Where did everybody else start? Uh, kind of just having the game within the game inside of your head while you're playing. And these types of things will definitely help you bring home some victories, get some dubs. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the game here and we can jump right in. All right, so we're going to go ahead, like I said, start with a uh, controls guide. Just kind of go over the controls. So just a quick note, I will be playing with a keyboard and mouse for this game. If you're playing with a controller, that's perfectly fine. One thing I want to cover with that, though, in games that you're going to be playing with both people with a controller and a keyboard and mouse or even a combination of both, there's a couple just advantages and disadvantages, right? So m mouse and keyboard does give you the precision of having the mouse. Uh, you do have much more flexibility. You also can make your turns a lot faster because there is no dead zone. With a controller, you do have a dead zone, right? You can only move the controller stick from here to here. And that's, that's less than a half of an inch and it's gonna give you uh, enough to do a full 360 turn, but you have to hit it and hold it down. Uh, whereas the mouse, all you got to do is do a little swipe, whoop, a quick swipe, and that turns you around. So I feel like you have a little bit of an advantage uh, in games, especially with a lot of action where you're going to be turning around a whole bunch. You do have a little bit of an advantage with a, key, a mouse over a controller. Now, with a controller and shooter games, you definitely have an advantage of something called aim assist. Basically, when you swipe your controller 
aim or near a, an enemy, it will slow down and sometimes even stop on the enemy and then slow down and then continue at the normal speed. So it'll look something like this. As my face is the enemy, my hand is our cursor coming through. And we're going through nice and evenly. And then it'll slow down here, boop, slow down, and then back to whatever speed we were going before. So when you have those twitch motions where you're just like quick flick of the wrist or quick flick of the thumbstick, it will actually stop on the player if you have the right muscle memory uh, for that particular game. Uh, so that is the advantage of a controller. The mouse has gives you a little bit uh, faster movement and a little bit more control. You just don't have that aim assist. Now, some people out there do play with both. Sometimes I do play with both. I have a Sony Nav from the uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, as I've said in, well, I haven't said it in a previous video because we're scrapping that one. Um, so I'm a little bit older, all right? I'm in my mid to late 30s. And, you know, sometimes your, your body breaks down when you play video games for as long as I have and you're constantly drilling in that middle thumbstick and have your hand in weird configurations for a long period of time, uh, you, your, your hands and joints start to deteriorate a little bit. So sometimes too long of a controller use for me will, will kind of hurt my hands. So I like this one. My left hand is perfectly fine. I don't really have any issues. It's my right hand with the thumbsticks. So sometimes I will run a... Uh, Sony nav and a mouse combo at the same time for this for this today um, we are going to be running the keyboard and mouse configuration uh, so I'm actually going to be using my G910 Logitech keyboard and that's kind of what I'm comfortable with in this game and we're also using the Razer Naga Trinity on that I do want to go over a couple things so before we even jump into the tutorial one thing that I covered in the day one video that kind of got muffed up uh, was going over the controls for a game. So let's go ahead and bring the game up real quick. Before we go into that, uh, let's take a quick look into the controls. So control mapping, boom, there we go. So keyboard and mouse is what we're using. Just to kind of give you guys an idea, this is in here, I'll move myself out of the way here so you guys can see everything. So <clears throat> with this, you know, you have your normal movement on the left side, uh, forward, back, left, right. That's W-A-S-D. Now, anybody that's using mouse and keyboard, I do want to show you something. So this I just recently learned uh, about a year ago. So with the mouse and keyboard, there are two main ways that you can use a mouse. I'm sorry, use a keyboard. So most people, when they type for work, they use all four fingers or all five fingers on the keyboard with your fingers on the grooved buttons F and J. That's how I play my video games using these three fingers as W uh, A S W D. So I use these fingers for moving. Now that does cause me a little bit of a disadvantage because of most games, these three controls here, shift, control, and alt. Usually those are the buttons that are either free look or um, run, crouch, those types of things. So I always go into, and this is what I do with every single video game that I first start, um, without a doubt, I always go into the key mappings and look at number one, look at all of the bindings. So that way you get know what you can and can't do. Sometimes games will give you a small basic tutorial and kind of say, Hey, this is how you run. This is how you jump. This is how you do a double jump, but they won't say this is how you do a double jump. And then a backflip slash with a pure a twist, Tony Hawk, 1080 flip. You know, they won't tell you all of the things, all of the secrets in the game. So I like to go through the controls and just kind of look at everything. Uh, way back when I was growing up, video games used to come with an actual instruction manual, and my father and I made a deal every time he bought me a game, I had to read through the instruction manual twice before even starting the game. So it was a good way for me to get some reading in before playing. Uh, but it, it kind of carried over. I, I enjoyed knowing everything uh, that you can do before even starting. So um, back to the main point I was getting at. So there's the main way to type, and I'll use hold this up this way and kind of show you guys this way. So you got where you hold your hands basically like this, right? And I use the WASD this way. The main way that gamers will use it is use your main three fingers on WASD like so. So that way you have a little bit more control on forward and you have the reach to get to shift control and this with your alternate fingers. I, I tried that. I've just been playing so long on mouse and key the other way. It's, it's not for me. Now, one thing I do also use, and this is just something that I've been comfortable with for years and years and years, um, is a 
mouse that has side buttons. So this is the Razer Naga. I am not sponsored by them. Razer, if you see this and you want to sponsor me, I love your stuff. Go ahead and send it to me. Um, anybody else, don't buy it until they sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding guys all right so i like to use the razor naga just for this right here if you take a look at this here um go ahead and focus in for me please thank you uh as you can see i got 12 keys on the side there they all go right on your thumb on the side as i was stating earlier it's a little bit simpler for me on my hands or easier for me on my hands um just to kind of have those buttons on the side most games they have the same configurations uh, between games. So as we look at this PlayStation 5 controller here, right, you have R1, L1, R2, L2, and then all of the buttons on the face. And then you also have the click click in the, the joysticks as well. Um, I usually remap them. So L1 always goes in number one slot. So number one is always for me, um, there we go. Number one is usually L1, number two is L2, Number three is my melee button on controllers. It's either the circle if you're using PlayStation or B button if you're using uh, an Xbox controller. So if you're using an Xbox controller, it's gonna be the B button. If you're using a PlayStation controller, it's gonna be the circle button. So I, I like to use the three for the melees. Typically four is my ultimate ability. In most games, you do have an ability where if you hit L1 and L2 at the same time or whatever special button and combination it is, that will activate your ultimate ability. Um, I like to map that to four. Five for me, right in the center of the mouse, is where I like to mount my um, my uh, sprints. So if I, there's sprint in a game, that goes on five. Six is where my slide, duck, um, crouch, prone, those types of buttons go on six. Seven and nine, I don't ever map really. They just feel uncomfortable both for my hand on a pain level and a quick reference level. So seven and nine, I usually leave unmarked. Uh, and then on the rest of the buttons, eight, 10, 11, and 12. Go ahead and zoom in, catch it, focus. Bloop. So eight, 10, 11, and 12. If you look at it, it kind of looks like the Tetris piece, flat on the bottom with a bump in the middle. You know what else it looks like? The D-pad on a keyboard. Right here. Oh, uh, nope. Right here. Up, down, left, right. And that's exactly how I map it. Eight is this button here. 10, 11, 12. Up, down, left, right. That's gonna be the bottom of my mouse. And that's usually how I keep it for every single game. Every single game. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, to the settings here and we'll, we'll kind of apply some of that what I said um, To these and I highly recommend again if, if you don't do it already whenever you start a new game Just jump into the options look at the key mappings and see what buttons do what um, again Pro tip. I, I don't know if the pros use it. I use it. and It seems to be always beneficial for me So jumping into the game and let me get rid of myself here real quick right off the bat talking about forward um, W S A D. Those are always normal up, down, left, right. Jump is the space bar. That's kind of the natural resting position for your thumb on a keyboard. Uh, dodge here. I, like I said, that there is no sprint, but it's a dodge. So I have that mounted to my five button right in the center. Crouch. I have a six, uh, walk it not really used often, but I do have that as V for victory when you're fighting and this is kind of normal for most shooter games the one that we have highlighted now is going to be your fire button uh the one on the underneath right here is usually your aim down sight button uh for this game it's more melee oriented so we do have left and right click there primary weapon i have this mapped on the top of the key and let me bring myself in real quick just so i can show you what i'm talking about uh on the top of the razor naga right underneath of the mouse wheel there are two more buttons Come on, there you go, boom, one and two. So I have those mapped as one and two. Um, those are the buttons I use for weapon one, weapon two. Then you got replace equipment here. Let's go ahead and show you guys back where we were. Replace equipment, uh, one and two right there. Uh, we have E, so replace equipment in this game is if you have a blue armor and it, let's say you've got a couple shots on you and it's now down to 50%. 
and you walk over another blue armor on the ground, brand new, it's fresh, 100%, you can hit this button and it will swap what you have. Or if you're using a katana and you want to change that for a pistol, uh, you can walk over it and hit this button, the E button for us here today, uh, and that will swap the weapon sheath weapon uh we we won't really be using that often unless we're being fancy and kind of want to uh accent to kill or, or rub it in a little bit it's a fancy tea bag basically uh so we have that as eight on the d-pad and remember that's going to be basically up on the the direction pad if you think of it that way use meds that's going to be our 10 button on our mouse wheel uh again bottom lower left that's what i'm used to in here let me bring myself back in so you can kind of see what i'm talking about um where's my wireless one here you go so 10 right there on the bottom right there so um when i'm playing i know if i need to heal i just slide my hand down to the very low corner button uh don't even have to look you know you just kind of do it from feel lowest left button is always heal for me uh back to the game on the other side uh you have use uh meds is what we just went over girls Use items, uh, that's the equal sign. So just as a, a quick tip, you know, I did say I marked that as up, down, left, right. I just have that and kind of memorized in my head. Numbers on this, you know, they, it does come with software where you can change these numbers to do whatever you want. I leave it basically as is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to zero, which is 10. Uh, 11 and 12 is actually hyphen and plus sign or equals and, and hyphen. Uh, so that's why you see some of these up here, like use item is equal sign. Um, grappling hook I have is set to number one. And I actually wanna go over something here as well before we continue. Um, in games like this, because we took a look at some of the extra options, we did discover that there is other ways that you can use your grappling hook. So for instance, let's take a look here, settings game and again this is why we look at it you see combat right here uh you have grappling hook aim assist that comes on naturally um and in this game it does help but what you don't have is manual unscoping um and hold here so in the game normally you would hit the button uh then that would bring up the ability or the cursor the crosshair to use the um grappling hook if you decided you didn't want to use it you'd have to hit that button again I'm not a fan of that. It's too many button presses for one action. So I changed it to hold. So now whenever I hold in the one button or the grappling hook, um, all I have to do is fire and it'll go off. So if I don't want to use it, I release the one. So instead of going bloop, okay, it's up, bloop, now I hit it, okay, or bloop, it's on, bloop, I don't want it. I have it on, off, on, off, on, use. So going back to where we were on key mappings, um, custom shortcuts, Grappling hook one, skill number two. In this game, every character has their own skill. Uh, you can do something uh, either uh, turn into a giant statue guy and smash around or turn into an invisible chick. Uh, there, there's all kinds of different skills and ultimates here. So um, skills are just the regular move. So for instance, the invisibility character, her skill is teleport. So you hit the two button and you teleport. The ultimate ability is the special ability. It takes a little bit of time to charge up, but it's very powerful. Um, and then as I stated earlier, I usually keep that on four. G is lock. So if you want to lock onto a character, you would hit G. Um, we may change that now. Uh, I haven't really been using that much and I kind of forgot about it until going over it here today. So um, awesome. We'll, we'll um, definitely keep that in mind. I think we'll, we'll leave that as G for now. Um, yeah, we'll leave it. Uh, free look is alt. Repair is R. Uh, quick counter is three. In this game, you can counter moves and you just hit the three button or hit both of the buttons at the same time. Um, we may actually change this to three. And there you go. Um, yeah, that works. So map is tab. Mark uh, enemies is the 11 button. So again, just like the heal button, it's the bottom center button. Very easy for me. Um, we could also do the mouse wheel click. That, that works as well, um, but I, I prefer the bottom button. Interact F. So when you run over something, you want to open it, hit F. Bags is B. Uh, hero info, party chat, nearby chat, Y, I, mics, X. So it's kind of everything there. 
We're gonna save that and move back. So let's go ahead and run through the tutorial real quick. I'm gonna just probably shut up, let you guys enjoy the, the video. If I think of anything while we're playing, I'll, I'll jump back in and we'll continue from there. So real quick, just so you guys can see it, uh, let's change this from ranked over to controls, confirm, start. All right, let's go. Wake up. Quickly, little Viper. You'll want to find the Mask of Immortality before the others do. That voice. You sound almost familiar. Where am I? Find your way to where it's, it's sinking. I will be waiting there. More pageantry. helps if I'm unmuted um, all I was saying was it really is not necessary to play tutorials when you are an advanced player however when you don't play video games that often it's definitely worth running through because sometimes they will teach you secrets in the game that they don't often teach you uh, just from playing uh, so as you can see uh, one other note I wanted to make another reason why I do like to change my key mappings the very first thing is when you do run a tutorial like this most games will recognize that you've changed it and it will help you build that muscle memory uh, muscle memory is very important in video games just like uh, a pitcher in, in major league baseball or a quarterback or any position in any sport the more you have repetitions of doing things the more familiar and more comfortable and the more you're used to doing it so you know exactly how far to turn for a jump shot or, or how your mechanics work for a baseball pitch or whatever you're doing out there um, so definitely recommend again can't recommend it enough look at the settings changes the way you like then run the tutorial uh, so let's keep it moving double jump just jump jump uh, five is dodge we already changed it so let's just dodge through the fire hold to sprint I've lost my sword. So run towards the wall and run up it by pressing it. W. A bow may be useful. So basically, uh, those that pile we saw on the ground is the loot piles. You walk over it, open the loot pile, and things come out as you pick it up. Uh, and here I'll move myself out of the way here so you guys can see uh, ranged weapon and weapons in this game they do have durability basically meaning the more you use it uh, it can break and you'll have to repair it so you do have to make sure to pick up repair boxes as you go uh, so this wants us to use a Vitala before we continue um, I don't think we picked one up so I don't know what's going on there picked it up it's just not oh okay that's this one here Derp. So now that we've used that, we can move forward. Monster. We got some enemies here, so we're just gonna go ahead and fight them real the quick. Practice, I suppose. Real simple. Just pull out the bow. All I'm doing is left clicking, there is uh, not doing anything with. else. So here we'll pick up some loots. Uh, it wants us to charge attack, so we didn't do that. As you can see in the uh, upper left-hand corner. We'll charge attack there. Boom, check that off. Now we need to repair the weapon, so we'll go ahead and pick up this repair here, weapon chest, and hit R, uh, which you can see in the lower right hand corner, uh, directly underneath me on the screen. It seems it so now that monster. opened and allowed us to move on. Here so this is just kind of oh, almost sense. missed it. Jump in between pillars. This is the loot pile I was talking about. It'll be many different colors, uh, but the gold color is the best. It's going to have the best the loots available. Let's hope it's sharp enough. A sword? Alright, so we picked up the sword. And now, as you can see, when we scroll our mouse wheel, it'll switch between weapons. Or, uh, as we discovered and mapped earlier, uh, one is one button, two is the other button. 
Oh, I'm sorry, not one and two, but underneath the mouse wheel here, on where you can't see. I mean, the, the, there you go. All right. So let's go ahead and keep it moving. More of those things. So we got some enemies. Our quest here, or our mission, closer. launch a horizontal strike with left click, launch a vertical strike with the other click, or a charged strike. So in this game, you can do quick combos like that just by melee, uh, click, click, click. Or you can hold it down, and it'll do a, a separate strike. So, and there are different combos. So you can do one, and then do another, and it does work very well with each other. It's very fluid. Um, so with this, this, this is an inventory-based game. So you do want to make sure you're managing your inventory. For the tutorial, it's not a big deal, but just keep that in mind, and we'll talk about that as we go through the game. Uh, we don't need to pick these up because we have plenty of them. Uh, I usually run from any anywhere from two to four of them. The chain. So we got to... Oh, no there we go. Storm. Jump up on the chain, run across, and then drop down. So six is my drop I mean, down, but we just kind of... No these are grappling hooks, inside. so there is a lot of mobility in this grappling game. You get grappling hooks. hooks. Grappling hooks are useful. awesome. So I'll let you read that real quick. Cool. Done. So we'll grab a couple of those and basically, so as I was saying before, you would hit the button and it would bring up this little cursor here and you would have to hit the button again to remove it. I prefer where I just hold it down. So if I need to quickly do it up, oh, I don't want to do that up. Oh, I don't want to do that. I can just let go. So aim, fire, done. Aim, fire. I don't know why that didn't work. And we'll just go up here. So advanced, uh, enemies automatically lock on, which is very nice. That's I all that's saying. So just to, to show you what I mean by auto lock on, as long as you have mm, a, an enemy an within those sorry, two out, outer sorry. rings, it will give you an auto lock on or show you that where they are. It's trying to lock on. As long as it's close to the center circle, it will automatically grab it. So if I'm here... Oh, it will automatically grab it. So good to know. You can just have them in the circle somewhere around it, and it will pull them up. Usually you have to do a little bit more damage than that to a guy, but see? There you go. And then you can use your ability as you go. All right. Moving right along. Is that armor? How fortunate. Hmm. So there is armor in this game, and real quick, about. most games, you know, dating all the way back to the original Diablo, and probably even before Zelda style, um, they do have different rarity levels. Uh, white or gray is common, blue is typically the uh, uncommon or rare, purple is usually the epic um, or a different word for it. Different games sometimes use different words. And then the gold or red is usually the mythic or legendary or, or both. Uh, so the, those are definitely in this game, as you can see right there on the screen, white, blue, purple, gold. So it does follow the standard. And if you're ever confused or colorblind, uh, number one, change your colorblind options so you can see uh, different colors. Or number two, as you can see above, there are different uh, numbers of tally marks above it. Uh, from zero all the way up to four. So let's uh, keep it moving here. So run towards a wall and run up so it's still just W in space, really. Once you get to the edge, hit space. Nice thing about this game, there is tons of mobility. So I don't know if you guys saw that. As I'm like underneath of the wall here, and it doesn't look like you can climb up anymore, you can just really jump up and get over it. So very nice. So counters, I'm not very good at counters, but we will we will try. Um, nope, didn't work. So let's try again. Nope. We'll let him hit us, and then blue, boom. There's the counter, and then you attack. So when you counter, it does disarm them. So it's nice, there's another counter, and then you just do a quick attack to, to knock them down. So as you can see, disarmed. Then you can just pick up their weapon. Alright, so moving right along, there is no other loots here. Soul blooms in the mist down there. The voice bids. More creatures who do not know their place. I will show them the power of the maiden of Yushan.
Mm. So we should be working on our counters here. We, we see him charging up. But sometimes, so the thing is, is you can either do a quick blue attack or you can do a hold down. So that's the little bit of the mind game there is deciding which one you want. I actually am going to switch back to the broadsword because it does have a little bit of a range to it. It doesn't matter where you hold it down, it does that, that little wind slice. Um, and we'll, we don't need to really repair our armor or use anything. It's going to ask us to use our skill, which we use there. Let my twilight crimson show you why. So we'll kill these guys real quick. Super simple. These are just NPCs. Super easy. So it wants us to use our ultimate. I was trying to save it for this next fight because I played it before already. I know what happens. I'm gonna shut up for a minute and let you guys watch. I see the maiden of Yushan deserves her reputation. But your journey stops here. I cannot let you continue. I have not survived so long to be told what I can and cannot do by a stranger. So we gotta fight this guy real quick. He uses his ultimate, so we're gonna just run away real quick. Go ahead and use our ultimate with ours, it actually stuns them at, at the end of the tick. And he's dead. Easy. The path opens. Seems like we will have to continue this another time. We will see each other again soon. Alright, so that was the main tutorial, uh, you know, if you haven't learned anything, uh, you know, then you probably don't need to do that. Um, but yeah, for this game, because it is a little bit different than most shooting battle royales, I would definitely recommend it if you're, if you're planning on playing. Um, I did do the advanced tutorial, honestly, the only thing that we learned from that was that there are these big lotuses in the center, you can do something called a soul run uh, to get your life back. So let's go ahead and jump into a game. Remember, we're going to be focusing on just a few things here. Um, awareness, being aware of where your enemies are around you. We're going to be focused on um, also your position, movement, uh, and making sure you're prepared for battle, making sure you're in an advantage at every turn. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the match. Just so you guys can see, there are seven this different this heroes. Um, you know, I haven't played them all yet. I really just like this girl and this girl the, the, out of the Another few that I've played. Uh, this one here is a, a kind of a ninja this type this character. She me. likes to be evasive. So one thing on the different heroes that are available, and this really applies to every game out there. You want to play a character that, that is, fits your play style. If you like being in the front line, taking all the damage, commanding everybody to attack you, and staying alive forever, the tank class, then that's what you should play. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, well, if you play this class, then you have to gear up this way, and you must play it this way. 
Forget all that. Play the game the way that you like to play the game. Don't let other people tell you how to spend your time and play your game. You know, if they're trying to provide you tips, sure, be open to feedback, but don't let anybody ever tell you how to play your game. Usually when people tell me, oh, well, if I were you, I would do this. I tell them, well, why don't you come over here and play the game for me? I'll go take a nap. I don't even need to be. Uh, but going back to the different types of classes that you can play, um, usually there's traditionally three different roles. There, well, four if you include the two in, in damage. So uh, number one is the tank type. They are a front of the line, commanding all of the, controlling the action, leading the pack. They have high health pool uh, and usually high armor. Very hard to die, uh, but they don't really do a lot of damage. Then you have the damage classes. Now the damage classes can be broken down really into four subcategories. Uh, quickly, they're DPS, as in Delta Papa, Pierogi, DPS, damage per second, is what it stands for. And there's usually two main subclasses, and that's either burst damage or sustained damage. Now with burst damage, you're usually using all of your abilities in a short period of time, and then you have to wait for a cooldown. Boop, you can use your ability again, and then you use it. Boop, sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter. I personally prefer uh, burst damage over sustained damage, uh, because I like to use all my abilities, get as much damage in a small period of time, and then go recover, get my health, reposition, and then do it again, or help a teammate, whatever you need to do. For sustained damage, typically they do deal either the same or more damage over the same time period. It's just each ability does less damage as you go. So you have to really stay in the fight and continue the damage or apply uh, what's known as DOTS, D-O-T's, damage over time, um, or burns or stuff like that, curses, things that will tick away the health as well as long as you're you know attacking. Um, and then the other two subclasses of damage dealing is either ranged or uh, close ranged or melee range, close range or long range. Um, with this game, you do get a choice of either. You know, there are ranged weapons and there are melee weapons, so you can cha change back and forth on the fly. The last class is usually a support class, either one that provides heals or resurrections or armors or buffs, bonuses, boons, whatever you want to call them. Um, those are the support classes. You know, I've played all of the different types and depending on the game, uh, I'll change what I'm playing. Uh, for instance, like in World of Warcraft, I loved raid healing with, a, uh, well, really any of them. I played Priest, uh, Paladin, and Druid. Uh, but for raid healing, you know, going through a, a big dungeon with 40, 60 people, I like using the um, either the Restoration Druid or the Paladin with the flash heals and whatnot. Uh, but for PvP healing, it was the Shaman Healer or the um, Druid Healer, just because they can move and heal very easily. But um, And then in other games like Guild Wars or uh, SWOTOR, <laughs> Star Wars, um, I, I preferred being a tank. And then more recently, I've been doing more damage roles, uh, just because I feel like I've put my time in being a healer and a tank. So I, it's time for me to be the lazy one and just kill people. Um, so with this, we have been playing Matari. Uh, she is the ninja class. She does like to, to sneak around. Couple things on this game since we're on the home screen. I'll run through it real quick. I play this chick Matari. She likes to be a little ninja. Uh, she, she does kind of sneak around and, and do damage all over the place. Uh, so she's got Silent Flutter, which allows her to teleport. And then her ultimate ability is to be able to go uh, cloak invisible for a few seconds she does have a little bit of an outline and people can see her but that is the ability there um now with the character i was talking about with oh, cultivation as you play characters you unlock abilities for them and you also unlock uh what they call glyphs uh, and then there's also cultivation as you play them as you can see signified by these red plus signs uh defeat four enemies we did do that with her so we get a little bit of gold uh, buy an item for a rift from a rift dealer. We did that so we get some gold and then we've traveled 10,000 meters as her in survival mode So we get a chest um, It sucks, you know in the previous videos I did save up about 15 chests and open them all up at once for you guys, but uh, Unfortunately, we we didn't get anything good. So don't worry you didn't miss out But we'll go ahead and open this chest right quick The uh, other thing I wanted to show you was the talents So as you play a character uh, it unlocks these little nodes and then you can put in your glyphs uh, there are four different types of glyphs. You have the mind, uh, flight, spirit, 
and uh, agility one and you just kind of upgrade them as you go as you can see level five is the max level I cannot upgrade them anymore uh, but just so you can see if I wanted to oh there is different ones what do you know hmm I must have just unlocked that because that was not uh, available before but we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that so you can see that in action there you go, upgrade, 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 boom, at maximum. So now our grappling speed has been increased. So it's not a pay as you win, pay to win, but it does allow you to let your time be seen. The more time you spend in the game, the better you'll be because of these glyphs and other things. Um, so we're gonna keep reduce the amount of energy required to dodge, increase grappling hook speed. Um, we're gonna leave two on the dodge and one on the glyph. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, we did. So Rift Dealer discount. Um, Rift Dealers are these little boxes that, you, that come across on the map uh, that allow you to purchase upgrades or different things that you need, bag, uh, bags, um, items, or glyph items. We're going to leave this as <clears throat> Omni Mind for now. This one unlocks one of these here real quick. Uh, increase the drop rate of rare plus items. Increase grappling hook distance, enabling it to go further. So we have two grappling hook distances. Let's go ahead and do this and we'll upgrade that as well. Spend some of these coins. Boom, there we go. So now we have increased the drop of rare items level five. Um, and then we'll take a look at these real quick. So we do only have the two. These are the ones we've been rocking is recover energy at a more rapid speed and dodge more often in combat. The new one is gain dark coins over time, which can increase rift dealers. Eh, we, we pick it up off a dead body. So, um, look, see, good thing we went over there. Always learning. Um, for the record, I haven't looked anything up in this game. I planned on um, just kind of playing it brand new with you guys and learning as we go. And I'm still in that mood. Um, after this video comes out, I'll, I'll do some research and kind of learn a little bit of the things that I haven't learned. Um, which actually kind of brings me to another point. Um, most games, the way I do it, unless I'm doing something for you guys, putting a, like a let's play together where we go in cold, brand new together, don't know anything about it. Um, I like to go in and get that information. Now there's a such thing as efficiency and we'll, we'll kind of cover it as we go in the game. I got a couple other examples I want to go over. Um, but let's say you play a brand new game and it takes you six weeks or six hours, however time period to learn that you can do something that you didn't know before. But you see your enemies doing it, and instead of you kind of mashing buttons trying to figure it out and figuring it out days later, you can just jump over to the Reddit page or jump over to the website or Twitter or you know go online somewhere to find the information. Hey, in this game XYZ, how do I do this move XYZ? Please help you. Thank you. And usually you'll get a response or you'll find something that you're already looking for. So letting somebody else do the work for you isn't a cop out. It, it's not at all. It's public knowledge and you should take advantage of it. Save your time of being a noob for, for less period of time. But for this purpose, I did want it to be a fresh game, cold entry. So I have not looked anything up. Um, other things to cover here, as you use different weapons, as you can see, you do unlock different levels. As you unlock levels, it does kind of unlock more of the currency, and you can get gems and skins and other things. So, um, it does treat you for being a little bit using a variety, uh, but, you know, you can use what you like. As you can see with the weapons, I'm pretty much the same across the board. A few is higher than the other, but, alright, let's keep it moving. Um, there is a battle pass. Oh, we have a chest. Oh, that's right. We're going to open that up here in a second. There is a battle pass. We're not buying that right now. Um, we have gotten a few things unlocked on there. We already kind of unlocked it. And then there's quests each week, as you can see. Um, we're still in week one. The game just came out last Thursday. Uh, today is uh, Monday of the following week. Uh, so we need to party up one more time, destroy objects, and equip gold uh, soul jades. Um, soul jades are kind of like armor enchantments uh, or enhancements either one basically you pick them up and you can increase your health by 5% or increase your defense by 9% or attack and there's a bunch of different ones out there I call them soju's just for speed and quickness uh, plus I like soju the Korean rice wine uh, so it's that's just what I call them, soju um, and then let's go ahead and We've gotten all that. We went over cultivation. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. Now there's a few different game types and we'll go ahead and start with Bloodbath. That's how I like to warm up in this game. It's more of a melee 
free-for-all uh, team deathmatch lets you kind of get right into the action and, and start fighting right away. So I, I always find that that's a really good warm-up. So we're going to warm up with that. So first thing that we wanted to cover was the awareness piece. Um, we won't really be covering that in the bloodbath play mode because there isn't, it's, it's kind of die and spawn back, die, spawn back, die, spawn back. So, um, we will go over position in this. So when it comes now to position, you want to make sure that you're in, um, good position when you fight. So what do I mean by good position? Now I can probably give you a quick little demo here because we aren't really fighting here. So let's say me and this guy, I see this guy and he, we are fighting here. Well, this is a pretty even fight. Now, if I go up here, though, and upon entry of the fight, I now have advantage. I can, you know, shoot. So this guy's coming at me. Boom, he's dead. You know, having a, a positional advantage is always key. It's easier for me to aim down and hit him or him or whoever than it is for us to be either equal ground where we're going to be hitting each other or having low ground where they can only see your melon. Bink, 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 bink. Headshots do the most damage in all games. Every single game, there is always a headshot multiplier. So you want to have, when you're aiming down, the majority of their head on your your crosshair versus their body. Uh, so position is number one. Another part of position is bad, en bad engagements and good engagements. You want to make sure that you're going through with good engagements in your fights. Um, and I'll show you what I mean here. We'll, we'll um, switch our weapons real quick. So in this game mode, you do get all of the weapons. You get a purple armor. It's really about the battle and getting the practice in. We usually place anywhere from first to fifth. Um, so let's, let's see how we do. I'm going to go with cannons there. And I've been liking the dagger a lot. But I think we're going to use something different just to, to get some practice. We're going to use the spear and the, the cannon. So we see these two fighting. Oh, well, he just murked the heck out of him. But see, we're going to just kind of high ground. So he's got to come to us. So he's not using... Wow. Murdered. So that was not a good example. Uh, I was waiting for him to use the charge move, and I kept countering, but he'd never use it. He just one, two, one, two. So, no worries. We'll, we'll go back and get her later. So, where are we at? Oh, somebody's shooting us from behind. So, let's go. Let's be a little aggressive here. So no, making sure you're in good position while they're fighting each other. You know, we, we took a little bit of damage there. They're not focus, focusing on us. So that allows us to go ahead and get some armor in uh, and repair. So now the next time we engage a fight, we, we have full health. So we, we got out of that fight. That's the regular ability. It allows you to kind of get out of the engagement quickly. Um, we see that fight over there. We're going to heal up our armor. So remember, we want to make sure we're not at a disadvantage. Not really much you can do to be at an advantage other than position or third partying. So third partying is if you see like how you see these uh, three guys over here in the corner fighting. We let them whittle each other down. And then we go over and clean them up. Clean up whoever the winner is. Or try and get all of the kills. I don't know how he got away from that. Oh, that guy's dead. Um, moving on to the next. We're gonna murder this guy real quick because he's got a bounty on him. She thinks she's getting away. Get me some spools first. Oh, we got killed while we were trying to kill our bounty, and now he's gonna go clean him up. 
So he third partied us. Um, so, you know, we could, probably could have played a little bit better there, but again, we're not really focused yes, on right. winning here. We're, we're just really trying to, to learn, uh, or, or at least provide a little bit of learning tips. If you guys want, I can really turn it on and, and start uh, owning, but I don't think that's really necessary here. So, let's go get this guy real quick. We'll get both of these guys. We disarmed him with a counter. Now he's got no weapon. So we're just going to finish him off real quick. Boom, double kill. I guess I should turn it on for you guys since, you know, you're watching. You want to be entertained. Um, this guy is over here running around. We'll let him come out and we'll just murder him real quick. Usually people use that ability when they're out of life because it does give you a fresh life bar. So we're going to let him... There he goes. He's back down. And somebody else sniped him. Which is fine. Oh, we countered that. All right, so we're gonna use our special ability to try and get away here, since we're out of armor. Have to look good for my friends. Oh, he did see me. So usually you can get away pretty easily with the the res, since we got the purple outline. That just means we're cloaked. Um, Have to look good people for shouldn't be able to see me, but I'm using abilities. I'm kind of just standing here, which is fine. We want to get our life back so we can re-enter the fight. Since we're third party and or we just got hit from behind while we were sitting there, but that's fine. We're gonna try and get clean these kills up real quick. Boom. Alright, we're hurt, so let's get out. You can't rush beauty. We're gonna heal up real quick. Now they're still fighting each other, so they're not really concerned with what we're doing. I did need a bit of a touch. Sometimes just staying still is really all you need to do. The more you move... So we stole that kill, also hit her. we we'll do a quick little... Shoot! This junk can't even aim! Not getting away from us! Told you, not getting away from us. Alright, so we're out of spools. So we need to get away from this fight somehow. I don't think we are. Oh my goddess! Should have did the teleport away, then the cloak, and then another teleport. No big deal. Again, we're not really playing to win. Uh, but as you can see, we are climbing the, the, the board here. I know we said we're not playing to win, but we're going to go ahead and turn it up a little bit more. So in this game, there are uh, fruits and things that you can pick up on the, as you play. I saw one there, but... Oh, we should block that. So let's go ahead and repair real quick. Have to look good for my foes. All right, let's move. I'm gonna try and uh, get a double or a triple kill while watching somebody else. See them fighting over there? Let's go for that. I think we only got one of them. Oh, I can't believe we lost that. Got too focused on the one guy that we started, and, and we should have really just got out of there, healed, and went back. Or got away and fired a few range shots. 
And that's one of the things that's I'm kind of just learning. Um, once you whittle somebody down and they try to run away at a heal, instead of spending the time chasing them, just switch to your other weapon, the ranged weapon, and, and attack. Some people like to run double melee, some people like to run double range. I like running one of each. So I have a weapon that's up close, and I have a weapon at range. Um, let's uh, see if we can find somebody to, to fight here. There we go. Not the last. Actually, we don't even need to repair that. Let's go get that one there. You're more valuable dead. That chick totally stole my own. Luxurious. I did need a bit of a so we just used our ability there to dash away and then also heal up. Now we're gonna pull our cannon up and try and steal one of these kills. Not yep, the there's first, one. The last. She's teleporting away. Uh, we got two grapples left. We we'll use one to enter. Got her. So let's use our. Oh, we already used our last grapple. We'll use the last teleport here to. Heal up real quick. Ah. No so see, he disarmed us by blocking our blue attack. So sometimes it happens, no big deal. Still in fifth place. We need to turn it up. We got about 45 seconds to do so. That will definitely help. You can't rush beauty. Wow. Now in this game, you can like hide in trees and all kinds of different stuff. So. We're gonna actually going to swap to the bow and arrow, see if we can steal a couple kills. Bow and arrow is not easy in this. I don't think it's giving us credit. You know what? F forget it. Let's go in there and kill him. Oh, match over. So. Fifth place, sixth place, somewhere around there. But again, we really were just doing this to get the warm up, get the feels. And now we're going to go in. We're going to do a solo quick match. Um, actually, we're, we'll do a trio quick match. We'll get some teammates. That's how we usually play. Um, and then we'll do a ranked game. And we'll wrap it up there. Pretty much you'll see everything that there is to see about the game. And you can make the determination on whether you want to get it or not. Um, so... We didn't really get a chance to talk much about position in this because, again, it's, it's really just a, a team death match. There's no, you don't get the feels of, of the adrenaline pumping when there's only a few people left. So um, we'll, we'll talk more about it in this game. Make sure we don't have anybody popping on. Okay, good. So we've got our match. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that's the other thing. We said we we're going to open a, a crate for you guys. So let's go ahead and open that. We reached level 10. Sweet. Everything's for Kirumi, though. Uh, so, Treasure Pavilion, cool little graphic. Alright, 
right, so cool. We got a uh, little skin there. No, no big deal. wasn't anything that fancy, but we did get a skin, so that's pretty neat. Uh, so let's go ahead and change this over to quick match. We'll run a trios and confirm start. Nice thing about this when you are playing in a, a team and let's say you and I were playing together and we both like Matari, they don't lock it to just one. So we could technically be a full team of Mataris. They do not care. So in this screen here, you'll see this is actually how it drops. Most battle royales have you fly over the map and then everybody jumps out when they want to go and you kind of parachute in. This one's more like a board game where you go. You kind of see where everybody's going and you can decide to either be aggressive. As you see here in the upper right hand corner, there's three. I just clicked on it, now there's four. We're going there. I don't actually want to go there. Um, we can do either hot drops or cold drops. We'll do a hot drop on the first one, go right into the center. The gold outlines that you're seeing there on uh, Still Tide Temple, I can actually roll that in a little bit. So the gold outline just means it's a rich resource area. There's gonna be better loots there. Uh, and that's gonna be the hot drop. In most games like Fortnite, Warzone, there are areas that have a more concentrated, better loot. Those are usually the areas that people go to that are called the hot drops. Um, there's also other ways to play it. Uh, as you can see, this one's split. Basically in Battle Royale, so there's, uh, it's like Hunger Games. There's 60 people enter a match or 100 people enter a match and there can only be one team or one winner. So you either have to kill everybody or outlast everybody. Uh, and then the map shrinks and shrinks and shrinks until you're all forced to fight in the final circle. Um, so as you can see, we've only played 12 trio matches. And out of those 12, seven of them, we, we've finished in the top five. Um, so a little over you know 60% or so. Not great, um, but probably better than average. Uh, so here we are spawning. So when you first spawn, the first thing you want to do is kind of make sure where you are on the map. We're not too far away, so we got plenty of time. That purple circle indicates where the storm is. So we do have about four or five people. That's the awareness piece. So we did see other people are going to be around us. Uh, so our objective here is really to loot. You start with absolutely nothing. So you want to get weapons, armor, and the materials or mats that you need. Um, one big mistake a lot of rookie players make is they will land at a place and loot the same place. But as you can see, we are well balanced. I'm over here on this wall, two is on this wall, and one is in the center. So you want to stay close so if anything goes down you can get to each other. Uh, but you also want to respect each other's space so everybody can get loots that they need. Um, I personally prefer mobility. Uh, there's blue armor, we'll take that. So I usually carry a good bit of the grapples. Uh, just because again i like mobility it allows it's a good engage for fights it's a good disengage for fights um, and allows you to get high ground very quickly um i usually don't carry more than two weapon kits um and he's coming there okay good all right let's go down here um we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead over well so you do want to stay with your team so this game just like all games if you have three people shooting at one person the the three people are going to beat the one person. So you want to focus fire. That's the term uh, where you all kind of attack the same target because it makes their life go away that much quicker. So it is important to stay together. If we stay are away from them and we get jumped by a team of three, they're not going to let us get away. We're going to lose. We're going to die. And it's going to be game over. Uh, which we obviously want to avoid. So in this game, you see these things. These are the soul jades. You can you pick them up. That's this column here to the left of your bag items, which is over here. Um, that just is uh, those boons or buffs or bonuses that we were talking about. Uh, so we want to make sure we got an, enough of those. We do not have a ranged weapon just yet. Uh, we do like to run with one range, one melee. So we're going to go ahead and keep going in. Um, if we run into an enemy, then we, we run into them. We'll fight them with the two melees. But I do prefer to have one ranged and one. Oh, this is kind of where we started, isn't it? No biggie. Um, all right. So our team is way up there to the north. Um, they're still in that tower there. So we're gonna actually lead the way here. Um, let's go around over here and loot up this. Um, we're at 15 grapples. We probably can pass on those. We don't need any more. There's our ranged weapon. We'll take that. So now we got a crossbow. Oh, purple armor. He took it. Okay, no biggie. My, my. Did they kill somebody? I guess they did kill somebody. Wow. Have to look good for my foes. 
So in this, unlike Apex, when you kill somebody in Apex, it does refresh the armor, so you can just pick it up and keep going. In this one, when you kill somebody, the armor is depleted. So when you pick it up, you do have to repair it, unfortunately. So we just used all of our armors. We, we are going to need some armors here. What's neat about this is they do add loot into these like rafter areas. Looks like our team already got up there. So they're on a move now. I the shadow that. will shortly begin to spread. Is that oh, a short sword? We don't need that. We do need to get some armor though. So there's this low level armor, which is fine. I think we left some behind over here. Or maybe we didn't. So number one is running away. We'll go ahead and follow him. Remember, our, our one of our missions was to break items, so we can just, boom, run into it to break. So, position, you right? So we want to make sure we have high ground when we engage. We don't want to start in bad engagements. We always want to make sure that we're at an advantage. I saw some armor up here. When you start fights. So, what does that mean? That means being high ground. That means... Uh, not getting ganked, not allowing your teammates to get ganked, kind of talking to them and saying what's going on, what's on your mind. I'm going to grab this quest over here and this soul jade. So we'll get rid of this one, pick up this one. There we go. Then we're also going to loot in here real quick. So we're a little bit far away from our team, but we'll catch up to them. Handy nades. He's right there. He's just buying some stuff. So in this game, uh, you can pick up coins and, and purchase from these areas. We're going to go ahead and see what's left in here and, and purchase what we need, which looks like it's going to be armor for right now. So let's go ahead and buy some armor powder. Time to go dark. And then we'll buy a... I think we're good. Alright, so we'll just stick together, head our way into the storm. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, uh, there is the line, uh, the mini map. The line shows us where the uh, circle is. So we're actually heading in there now, uh, almost there. So uh, part of awareness is understanding what's going on around you. We have 40 enemies left, so we're about one third of the way through the lobby. Things will usually tighten up when you get to about the halfway mark. A lot of people like to be really aggressive at first. Uh, and then kind of tighten up as, as it goes. There's a purple armor. So, again, awareness. Knowing that that purple armor is there. If we get into a fight, we're going to want to head that... Excuse me, head that way and make sure we swap our armor with that instead of using the armor repairs that we have. Unless we get enough armor repairs, then it's not a big deal, but... Definitely want to be as efficient as possible. That's the name of the game, efficiency. Uh, since we have a moment, we might as well talk about efficient. Oh, we got enemies right ahead of us. So let's go ahead and get in good position, which is above them. We'll pull out our guns since we're far away or out of range. We will attack our enemies. Make sure we help our team. Not the first, not the last. I don't know how she got away from us. Or away from me, I guess. I missed my shots, so... There's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and repair our crossbow shine. real quick and pick that up. So usually there's teams of three. We just killed one person, so there's a good indication that he's got teammates somewhere around. He was probably just ahead of his team. You know, bad position, bad fight, and he lost. So, you know, we don't feel bad for him. What's cool about this game is you can get up into trees and, and kind of stalk your prey. It is a full-on ninja game. All you got to do is basically run up to it, and you start running up it. You know, you can crawl around and or whatever you want to do it's it's dope 
So let's keep with our team. We don't want to get left behind. Uh, if we do get left behind, that, that increases our chances of getting jumped, and we, we don't want that. So we're making our way to the next rich area, or mineral rich area. We want to check everything that we got. We have the armors that we need. We have health that we need. We have extra health. We got repair kits. We have everything that we need. So we really just need to upgrade our ability to carry more of these. Um, and maybe a, a better second weapon. And we'll take that musket. Or he took the musket, which is fine. So that noise you hear there, that grumble, is this right here. So this Bane Breath bust bursting. I'll even show it to you in the sky. Giant dragon comes down, starts shocking an area. Uh, don't get hit. It's insta-kill. You die right away. Um, so with that, what you got to do, you can cause that. You, there are these chests that open up in the match as you go. And there's one actually right here. I'm going to try to indicate that I want, want to get it. Um, they do allow you to get those... Um, Bane bursts. So you, if you are in an area or the final match, final round, and you use that, you can nuke everybody in that area. Um, I haven't really had a good play with it yet, but it has definitely created separation when somebody was on me. Just pop that and kind of run through it uh, or run around it because I know where it's going to be. They have to figure it out. Uh, so let's make sure we approach this. We are separating from our team just a little bit, but we're going to go in safely and kind of look around, make sure we see enemies. So there's enemies fighting over there as well. So we're going to just go over here. Those are among us. Beauty under fire. That was nasty. So we're using our alt to engage. Uh, we hit that heal real quick and we're going to go ahead and finish off this last guy. He won't even see us coming. Nice. Alright, was there a third person? There he is. Res our guy. All right, good. We won. So I'm gonna make sure we heal up real quick, uh, so we're ready for the next fight, so we don't get third party. A uh, very popular thing to do is watch other people fight and kind of jump in, like we talked about in the last game with the bloodbath to try to jump in at the end. As long as we make sure, boom, we're full life, full health, repair our stuff, uh, and we're good to go, ready for the next fight. So when they do come in, look at that shine. Boom, we're done. So let's go ahead and loot. Some of these bodies. This guy's got some golds for us. Gold pistol. Take that. We already have armor. We'll replace the armors that we used. We'll replace the grapples that we used. Replace that. Replace the our soul jade. Shortly begin to Thundercall. Phantom step. Soothing boon. Alright. So. That guy hooked us up. And we're going to take some life too. I'm gonna go take a look at this real quick. So this is what happens in the match. Um, you'll probably see there's another one there. Morris's Blessing. It was already open, uh, but we'll see if there's anything else. Katana Sap. Nope, we're not using Katana, so we don't need that. Um, let's go check these other armors real quick, or other loot piles. Uh, just to make sure there's nothing too, too good that we're leaving behind. Spear, bow, repeating crossbow, boom, upgrade. We'll upgrade that as well. We're going to use this pistol just because it is a little bit nicer. -uh. We don't have any repair boxes, so let's make sure we grab a couple of theirs. We don't need this. Grab that. Repair. It looks much better like this. That's another thing. So because we used one and there's some here, we can't really carry it on. Use what you can and then repair it. Or, and then go back and pick it up. Uh, that way, when you do need it later on, you do have it. Another quick tip is when you are out of combat and you want to use... Um... Ooh, we need, uh, we need that upgrade. Melee resists thunder call. Charge push shots larger explosion. I found numbers. something very good. 
He's got one of those swarms up there. Razor Swift. Shit, the storm's coming in, so let's move. Patience, darling. We got 24, so we can burn a few of our, um, which pilots if we want. Um, grapples, we have tons. So if we really want to get moving. Spear is nice, but I like the dagger. We're definitely getting carried a little bit by our team, but that's okay. Just warming up. I mean, this is basically my third day playing this game. I haven't really played that much, but um, yeah, so doing pretty good. We only got 15 left, so a few other teams. We're a full squad. We're all running together. <gasps> so we, we're doing pretty, pretty darn good. That's that Bane's breath, so you can see it. The dragon striking down those lightning strikes. Boom. Sure we heal up. Good for my foes. Look around. Sounds like somebody else is shooting. Long sword, gold long sword. We'll take that. Uh, purple armor. We'll take the coins. Take the coins. We don't need the cannon. Take the repairs. Take some grapples. Cannon. That's got our name all over it. So we'll repair this and then make sure we grab an extra repair to replace the one we just used. Alright, we're out. Sure, we Ready heal up fully before we go in. Well, maybe not everything. Not the first, not the last. Ah! 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 Boom, kill that guy. Kill that guy. So it, we started slow, but boy, are we down them in now, boy. And that's how you get the dub. That's what I'm talking about. W. Um, awesome. Glory is yours. Now you guys get to see the victory screen as well. Um, we definitely didn't do the worst, uh, but we definitely didn't do the best. So we definitely were a good contributor on our team. Eight kills in the end, more than both of our teammates combined. Uh, I think we actually carried in those last fights. A lot of those pistol shots were landing hard. It was more like a shotgun, uh, rocking a Nasher back in the Gears days. Uh, but yeah, definitely fun, fun game. That was awesome. Um, good dub. Let's go ahead and jump into a ranked game, see if we can duplicate that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial. So we talked about, again, position, just making sure you're in high ground, disengaging. You saw a couple times I had to run away, hit a quick heal, hit a quick health, re-engage, sticking with your team, um, making sure you had the numbers in your advantage, third partying, uh, being aware of what time we were in the game. 20, we were talked about being 40 left and kind of how it condenses and getting uh, bigger at the end. When we got down to 15, we saw, saw the last battle, we jumped in and we capitalized. 
Um, we also talked about looting in the beginning, making sure you have space, but you're close together. Um, again, all great tips. I, I don't know anybody that's going to disagree with any of these. Um, one thing I wanted to cover just popped in my head as we were going over the um, key combinations or, or key mapping in the beginning. You do want to make sure you increase your sensitivity just a little bit. Not too high where you're over swinging and missing your target, but just enough so you're faster than default. Think about it, in these types of games where it's really fast paced, where somebody can get behind you and you both have to turn around, if you turn around slower than your opponent, you will die every single time. Uh, so you don't want to go too fast where you're going to be missing and can't control your character, but you don't want to go too slow where you're going to take uh, 16 seconds to turn around where they're like, boom, gotcha, you're dead. By the time you get a quarter of the way turned around, you're already dead. Um, a lot of people, for whatever reason, just don't know that. They want to make sure that you kind of keep your uh, uh, sensitivity up a little bit. Um, as you get more comfortable with the sensitivity you're at, play there for a day, two, three, four days. Um, when you're comfortable with that, bump it up a notch. And bump it up a notch. And keep bumping it up until you get to the max uh, sensitivity that you can handle. Um, I promise you, that, that will definitely help you. Uh, I meant to go over that when we went over key mappings, but oh well. Let's go ahead and continue. We'll play one ranked as well. Uh, did we reach 18? We did. And then I'll go ahead and show you main screen. You don't need to see me. You can see me. I'm kind of the star of the show. You know, I am Masterpiece in Masterpiece Theater, so you get to look at this beautiful face. You're welcome, America, and really to the world. I'm kidding, guys. Just joking. Let's go ahead and, and bring up the multicam so you can kind of see what I'm doing here a little bit. Um, continue. So we didn't travel the full way with that. Uh, treasure Pavilion. All right, so let's change this to ranked see if we can uh, get the same result definitely a cool game I mean for only 20 bucks it, it's kind of a gem I, I won't lie it's definitely fun it's got that, that hook that keeps you bringing you back uh, plenty of characters so there's there's variety for everybody involved the one thing with this game is you do get to look at where everybody spawns so use that to your advantage Just make a mental note okay still Jade Temple we got three teams right there one two three four five six teams it's still Jade let's not go there all right we're going over here we got one two three teams here uh, and then a fourth one here. So make sure you are paying attention to where your enemies are gonna go. So we know immediately, as soon as we spawn, we have two, te three teams to our north, two teams to our south, and we're clear to the left and right. So let's make sure we keep that in mind as we're going. That's that awareness pit. Uh, make sure you're, you're on top of that. Poppy looks like he's ready to do the hard carry. For those who don't know, carry means like a backpack. You put your team on your back and you just carry them to the victory. You carry them across the finish line. Like we did the last team. At the end, at least. A gold pistol was pretty nice. So same thing as last time. You want to start by looting, getting as much things as you can. You can go through and pick up what you need later with Sky Force. Armor Steel. Restores your four armor pound. Killing an enemy? That's amazing. I haven't gotten that one before, and that's the gold soul jade, so that'll help us with what we were trying to accomplish. We need to get an armor. We got a bounty accepted. They're nearby. We'll break as many of these boxes as we can. Anything up top? I don't think we checked yet. We need armor. So we still need armor, not really a good fight for us. We got this armor buff, but we don't have armor. So let's make sure we find some before we go into a fight. I know he wants to go up there, but we don't have any armor. We need that. All right, we got a gray. Oh, we got a blue. All right, let's go. Hide your gold, they're close. Join the fray and I'll up your pay. Hello? Hello? We'll attack our enemies. Come on, Tia! Back me up! 
Oh shit, our team's dead. We got caught fighting one guy. Oh, nope, we're not gonna win that. We can try. Now we're talking. Yeah, uh, at 3v1, if we were by ourselves, we could have definitely tried. I want to snipe this guy so bad. Headshot. Look at that shine. So our teammates doing a soul run. Right, make sure we stay close to them. There's a little bit too much going on behind us. So on this we can hit alt and do a free look, make sure nothing's coming behind us. We have one guy there, but I don't think he's really coming for us. The shadow will shortly begin to spread. I can't believe these aren't hitting, I must be hitting the tree. Time to go dark. Let's get away from them. We don't want that. The shadow thickens. We'll swap that. Um, how are we looking at grapples? We got plenty. Yeah, we need a repair box. So our team's kind of scattered all over the place. I don't have a good feeling about this one, uh, just because they are all over the place. But we'll we'll do our best to stick with them and help them out. See if we can get the dub either way. We might let them know that there's my blue my. armor here. Look at that. So we kept the bow and so the spear, but it's alright. I don't want that. They're over there. Stick with them. Also, for this game, if you guys do pick it up, there's always loot on top of roofs. There's enemies over there. Time to go dark. We strike. Our foes. They're over there. Come on, team. Fall back. Me up. Oh, he's already in combat. So foes are among us. Back him up. Oh, I hit your head. Were you using that? No more valuable dead. Oops. Someone's angry at me. They'll never see me coming. And who said you can't buy health? Sturdy again. How luxurious. Look at that shine. Not the first, not the last. Can't 
fresh beauty. So we're gonna just run. Our teammates are dead. Um, you know, we really can't do anything about that. I could probably camp that guy's body, make sure they don't now pick him talking. up again. Oh, just gonna stay outside the storm, kind of get some space from them. Just because our team died doesn't mean we need to suicide. We did we our did best. We didn't really want to take that fight. We clinged to re retreat. They didn't want to hear that. So those Salex are our defense fruits. Allows you to, to get a little bit of defense. We're gonna try and mark that chick again. Got a storm main in here. That was nasty for you. Got a couple kills there. We're gonna just keep running. We don't want any parts of that. Whole team there. And who said you can't buy help? Too many fucking grapples. Yeah, we shouldn't have been even tried to engage. They'll never see me coming. We tried to be slick, he said no. Oh man. It'd been nice if we had our teammate with us. We we did as best we could dipping and dodging. So really I think that's that does it, man. I, I think we um kind of showed you guys what the game's about. We went over some basic, very, very basic tutorial steps, how to start a game, things to look out for, uh, things that can definitely help you even in Fortnite or, or some of the games that you might be playing. All right, guys, so that was Naraka Blade Point. I hope you really enjoyed the gameplay. Glad we were able to get a dub on our very first game, at least the Battle Royale mode. Um, definitely a cool game. I'll be checking it out. Uh, definitely going to be putting out a highlight reel of a compilation of all of the, the cool plays that I've had. I've already had quite a few. Uh, <laughs> when you look and see that compilation, you guys will also see that uh, dub we basically put on our back and carried for. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. You, you know my rules. I'm not going to talk about it. So keep an eye out for the blooper reel of what this was originally going to be uh, with it all scrambled and not looking good. And also keep your eyes peeled for the highlight reel of Naraka. So those are probably going to be the only three videos I put out on this. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Uh, I'll keep putting more stuff out. Um, things to look forward to. We probably will play a little more Splitgate. Uh, probably will be playing a more of this um, Battlefield 2042 when that comes out we are ready to rock on that on PlayStation 5 um, I'll put out a separate reason video of why I'm doing PlayStation 5 over PC on that one um, Yeah, I think that just about does it. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys Appreciate all of you and your time with me wherever it is in the world for you have a good evening Good night or even good afternoon or good morning. See you out See you out now